describe your comfort level uh, so far at camp? Uh, so far, so good. Um, Get into a couple games and um, able to have success like I have is obviously a boost to my confidence. But um, you know I can't get too high on the highs and I can't get too low on the lows. So I got to take it day by day. Is greasy rat a fair description? Of your <laughs> approach? Yeah, yeah, you know, Gaber is a high energy guy and he actually scared me when when he came on the bench there. So um, you know I just I just try to you know play that intense way, try to play on the edge but not too far over the edge. And uh, I think when I'm doing that, I'm playing my best. You give me re reaction. For <laughs> yeah, quite a few uh, people have reached out and just kind of had a good laugh about it, and uh, yeah, it, it was good. Mitch was saying, like, you don't mind being hated, it's his sense, it's like, well, where does that come from for you, because not everyone can do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I think that's uh, the way I get into a game, is, um, you know, getting the team after me, the other team after me, or, or just kind of getting in their head, I, I feel like that's when I'm playing my best, and um when they're they're chasing after me and not worried about the game, that that, that helps us out. So um, yeah, I don't mind playing that role. John was saying, Tavares was saying, like he feels like you've always maybe had a chip. You've been a late bloomer. You've been fighting mm -hmm. for it. Like how much has that played into the player you are? Uh, probably probably uh, greatly. Obviously, um, you know, late bloomer. Um, the the road I I got to get here isn't the uh, the normal one that um, everybody takes. So um, you know, I take pride in that and. I kind of take it every day that you know you can't take this thing for granted. It, it can it can go as just as fast as it can come. So um, I just got to take it day by day. What do you think? Of, I mean, what do you think about your journey of like not only being back in your hometown, but now you're getting you know the chance with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and you go back to a time where you didn't even play AAA because you couldn't afford it. You mm -hmm. played your family couldn't afford it. You played minor uh, high school hockey and to come to this point. What's that say about your journey? Yeah, it's it's funny. You kind of you kind of appreciate it a little bit more that um, you know it did take a, a little bit for me to get here. It, it has been a grind, and I I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my friends and my families and all the support they they've had for me. Um, yeah, like yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Is it's it's, um, it's been a it's been quite the route to get here, and and I appreciate it every single day. Some of the other guys in the morning group they talked about playing lacrosse growing up. Did you, okay. were you um, I I was very I was multiple sports. I lacrosse wasn't one of them I played. I, I played uh, volleyball, basketball, uh, badminton, tennis, um, and some soccer. So and ball hockey. You're wearing the orange shirt. Yes. Can you speak a little bit about what the day means to you? Yeah, obviously. Um, you know, it's a, it's a sad thing that happened. Um, you know, everybody's still learning about it, and it, I think it's a great great thing for us to be wearing the shirt and just to show that we are supporting them and and every single day. How much did got to this this point and not only because of the you know where he came from and he was helping your development but also a guy that you know grew up in kind of the same area that you did yeah uh, yes yeah. talk is a good Scarborough boy um, everybody that comes out of Scarborough kind of has that bond um, you know um, Everyone loves it, loves living there, and lo loves coming out of there. But you know, Taki was great, great for me last year. Um, you know, he, he taught me, taught me a lot of things and how to be a, a, a true pro and how to, to have success at this level. And um, I wouldn't be here if it, if it wasn't for him last year. And uh, he gave me that opportunity to play and gave me that opportunity to play with really good players, and I had that success. So he also had a few guys chasing after him when he played. <laughs> yeah, Talk was. Uh, I think he was a little tougher than me, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he, he's not afraid to mix it up. And yeah, we would talk about that and he would kind of give me advice about how play, playing on the edge and able to put in the pocket as well because he, he, he was able to put up numbers. Have you found any of this to be kind of overwhelming just coming to Toronto, the reaction that you're getting and now the way that you're playing? Have you found it? I guess uh, how have you found it personally? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, my family and, and my friends are are very excited for me and they're they're watching every single every single game every single practice they're all they're all over it but um they do a pretty good job of, of let leaving me alone during the year and leave me alone through this whole process and I, I try to stay away from all the social media and all that and just so it doesn't get to my head or get, get in get in the way at all and i just you know, like like i said i just want to just keep taking it day by day coming in and, and starting a new day on instagram that picture that you posted with the leafs kind of i guess the stickers or face paint yeah. do you remember that Story behind that picture? Yeah, I I think it was uh, it was like a school day. You support your favorite team, and uh, yeah, I, my my mom dyed my hair blue and put the stickers all over my face, and I put the jersey on, and away I went. What is your mom's reaction when you signed here? Uh, she she was really excited. Um, she doesn't like to show a lot of emotion, and she kind of hides it. But uh, when I when I saw when I signed here, I could tell that she was ecstatic, and she she couldn't wait to you know have me home for the year. Growing up 
up in Scarborough, how aware were you of Wayne Simmons and, and what was his reputation like? Yeah, obviously, um, growing up in Scarborough, you, you know guys that have made the NHL coming out of there. And uh, Simmer actually went to a high school that was just around the corner from mine. And so it, it was funny, we were talking that um, he just pretty much lived my life just a few years earlier than I did. He did everything I, I did growing up in Scarborough. We, we actually had the same minor coaches and, and all that, and kind of had the same path. So um, you know, we connected right off the hop from that. And uh, yeah, Simmer's an unbelievable guy. Did you meet him before you came here? Uh, no, we, we, met, um, yeah, we met for the first time here. And uh, yeah, we, we hit it off right away. How did you deal with doubt, you know, waiting? And you're still establishing yourself and fighting for, your, for what you want this game. But how did you deal with the doubt of, of making your way um, you know, I, I think it's just all in self-belief. I I've uh, never really doubted my my ability, and I've always kind of kind of known that I've been a late bloomer, and um, and just kind of always believed that once I get my shot, you got I got to take it, and I got to run with it, and and that's what I did last year when I when I got the call up, I just kind of ran with it and took it day by day, and and that's what I'm planning on doing here. Is every single day is a new day, and I just got to take this opportunity and and try to run with it as fast as I can. How comfortable are you? have a familiar voice behind the bench and Sheldon that you've heard before and played for before. Yeah, um, that obviously helps knowing when you know your coach and you know how he coaches and you're, and you're comfortable playing your own game and, and then he knows how you're going to play as well. I think that, that plays a huge role, um, a, a huge role in my game and, and, and it helps me have that confidence out there that um, I'm able to try things and, and my leash is a little bit bigger and, and stuff like that. So I've, I've really enjoyed playing under him in the Sioux and I'm looking forward to playing under, under him here. I, I, the first time, no, but I, I remember playing him in junior, and, and he's obviously an exceptional exceptional player. Even back then in junior, he was making plays and putting up unbelievable numbers, and yeah, he's been very dominant ever since. You ever get under his skin? Hey, yeah, we, we went at it, uh, I think, uh, a few times when we played London, and um, I always try to yeah, kind of go after go after him, get him off his game, but it, it never works. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. He's pretty focused, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a good player. Are you a talker? Part of your arsenal, or? Uh, I try to, you know, be be vocal out there, but not too much. I think when I when I get too vocal and I'm too distracted with trying to be vocal, um, I get off my own game. So I, I pick and choose when when to do it, and um, yeah, I'm not out there every single second yelling or something like that. So.